Grandma, I love you very much. You are very caring. And every day I see you, I am thankful that you are still here. I love you. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. My mother is in heaven. But she was a, a wonderful woman. She was a woman of God. And one day, uh, when I was a little girl coming up, my mother, I was two years old when my father died. And then my mother was a single mother. And then her brother was helping her. Things were very, very difficult. But my mother, two things I observed. She was a woman that used to pay tithes. When you come to the house, you say, my mother, you always give her money. Then when they give her the money, she'll come in. My name is Elizabeth, but she said, listen. She said, listen, come, uncle. She said, somebody just came and gave me five dollars. I want you to go across the street and change the money for me to take my tie. I said, what can I tie? <laughs> and then you find that you want to pay tie? You're not working. People are working. They're the ones supposed to pay tie. She said, go and change it. We'll go change the money. She'll take her tie and put it down. She left for us to her devotion. The devotion, she'll talk about Ananias and Sophia. She said, I don't want you to be lying. When you do something, when they ask you, you should always say yes. So because of this, every day from January to December was Ananiah and, and Sophia. <laughs> In the morning, she call, listen, Daniel, Annie, you can't follow some hard devotion before you go to school. Then my brother will come and whisper. And I'll be drinking. My brother will go sit. Listen, I said, Ma, come in. I said, I read, I need Naya so fire. Look, they will start laughing. Every day, I need Naya so fire. So we got so used to I need Naya so fire. When I'm sleeping, you wake me up and ask about I need Naya so fire. I will narrate the whole story. <laughs> After now, I know about Ananias and Sophia. May her soul rest in peace. <laughs> That's my grandma. She just talking about. Bless the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, my mother was just like me. She was a hardworking woman. My mother couldn't hear well. We were, we were eight of us. We were nine. Oh, we were nine. Yeah. So, so, we don't play. But they died or two. My mother was her alone. But she gave birth to nine children. Wow. And three are of legs. So, she couldn't hear well. No. When she's going to the market, I was walking by her side. When there's a beggar coming, I would touch her. She would just move. Ow, and the beggar would pass, ow, and I would go with her. And she was very, very sensitive. She was so Christian that she could not absent church a day. She was going to Presbyterian church. We were all Presbyterian, but gradually we left her, and all of us were Catholic. And now, when I came to America, we became what she is now. <laughs> so we became born again Christians. So, as my mother grew us up, she was just like that. She couldn't, she didn't even know who to go back because she, didn't, she couldn't hear. Or she couldn't hear, but somebody else are coming, she would not even understand what she's saying. But we'd all stay in her in the house. We just talk a little bit or make a sign, she would understand everything while we're, while we're talking to her. And she just gave us just a little bit of doctrine, that was all. And we, all of us were hardworking. We grew together with her, and all of us are all hardworking. 
So right now, we, we're doing good because of our mother. So I said, she is in heaven, and I thank her very much. And I thank the God that made her, and she, she, was a, she couldn't hear, but she grew us up. So I thank God. I just want to thank God and give honor to my mom. She uh, was a single mother who raised four children on her own, wow. three, boy, uh, three girls and one boy, and I was the second to the oldest. And me and her always butt heads because we're both Virgos. We're both born in, uh, right, right near each other. So she always used to say, give, give me my roses while I'm alive. I don't want you to crawl in my grave and call and scream. And I used to never understood what that was until her mom passed away. And she showed me the grace of how you treat your parent when they get sick, as they get older. Excuse me. Young people, we don't understand the blessing that our mothers uh, are to us. My mom is still here, but she's unable to make it today because she had gallbladder surgery. And I miss her. We've been bumping heads. But I thank God because he said always honor and respect your mom. We don't like what they say. We can't even stand some of the advice they give us because those are the last people on earth we want to hear the truth from. But I thank God for the truth. I thank God that I am the Christian I am today because she, when she was unable to sit and she couldn't make it to church, she said, you're going to go. You stand in the gap for your family. Mm -hmm. And that is what I continue to do. Mm -hmm. I have my little sister here with me. My, I have my brother. All my siblings are still alive. Mm -hmm. So we're standing in the gap for all the generations that are going to come behind us. Amen. Because they're going to have it a lot harder than us. And we just have to hold on to our parents, Amen. hold on to our children, hold on to each other and stand for something. And I thank God for having a mom to teach me, to taught me, and still is continuing to teach me Amen. how to be a woman, how to be holy, Amen. and how to stand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, I'm here, I want to talk about two mothers. I have two mothers. The first one is my Balishka mother. And the other one is my mother-in-law. I love my mother-in-law so much. Sometimes, you know, when I heard people talking about their mother-in-laws, what they do to them, I say, God, I thank you. Because the good part of it, my mother-in-law don't have uh, female children. So my husband, they are all men. So when I came into their life, she took me, she said, I don't have a daughter, you my daughter. I love my mother-in-law. Even though she's not here, when she's in, back home there, she will call me. You guys have to buy a land. You have, you know, she pushed me. She said, for tomorrow, you don't know what's going to happen in America. You have to come back. I love my mother-in-law so much. And I love my mother. My mother, I learned three major things from my mom. And I learned to share with my children as well. If, you, if Hadina and Hadret are playing somewhere, and I see they spill something or do something, I say, who did that? If I didn't say, oh, it's hard that I did it. I say, are you guys saying the truth? I didn't be like, remember that mommy say, if you like Jesus, will get upset. Jesus will get mad at you. So I'm happy my mom taught me not to lie. Amen. And the other thing my mom taught me that has helped me so much. My mom told me when I was a little girl, she said, anything that you know you're not going to be able to do, don't start it. If you, my husband know me. If you ask me for favor, I tell you I will do it. No matter what, I will do it. But if I say no, it's no, I won't do it. So I just want us, as we bring in our kids up, whatever we learn from our parents, let us put it in action. So I'm here to appreciate two people, my mother-in-law and my mother. I love them so much without my heart. I, I bless God for their lives. Amen. I have two mothers as well. Um, my biological mother, she's still living, um, but she wasn't able to make it tonight. But I want to just give honor to my aunt, um, Sister Annie Butler. She's my spiritual mother. She's the one that taught me about Jesus Christ, that the one that died for me, that I might live and have a right to the tree of life. So I praise God for her, you know, how she um, brought the word to us. She did. Um, in the city when I was a little girl, and she brought the word to us way in uh, Charles County, you know, and she had lived a life before me. I just thank God for that, and um, that's the reason why I'm saved today, because of her. So I just honor her, and I love her. God bless you. 
that she brought me to Christ because I've been running for Jesus ever since. And her birthday is tomorrow. She would have been 96 years old. And I miss her so much. And this week was kind of hard for me because my mom was such an inspiration to me. She's a good mom. She taught me how to carry myself, treat, to carry myself as a lady. And I thank God for the, the good morals she put in me. And I just, that's what I wanted to say about her because I love her and I miss Amen. her. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. My father had two wives. My mother was married by my stepmother for my father. What am I saying? Uh, my mother, my, my stepmother was the, was the first wife. And then she trained my mother. And when she knew that my mother was a very good person, she said, there is no way I can let this woman go to another person. I'm going to let this woman, I'm going to marry this woman for my husband. So my mother went, my third mother went and married my mother for my father. And then, see something. My mother gave birth to 11 children. Wow. My, my stepmother gave birth to 11 children. Wow. So we are 22. <laughs> but one thing I am very grateful for is that I never saw them quarrel. I never saw them ever. They never had any exchange. They taught us love and they, they served as an example. My mother will put on her wearing, and maybe when she takes any, if she takes her clothing off, she will hang it, and my stepmother will use it, and vice versa. Wow. My wow. stepmother will also use something, and my mother will, will, will come and use it my equally. <laughs> they taught us, they taught us love. You know, they are dead now. That's why, for all mothers, I want to say, thumbs up. I so appreciate you because when I see you, I think about my mothers. Amen. They loved us so much. They taught us love and how to serve God and how to respect people. Amen. It's a, we grew up in a traditional manner. So everything about us is traditional. But like I said, what I'm grateful for is even though they are dead today, what they instilled in me, discipline, love, and respect yeah. that I live with. Amen. So to all mothers, I want to say special love to you. Amen. Woo! I have a question for you. How many wives? The family, see what I mean? You better be one. <laughs> I just want to thank the Almighty God for sparing my life. My mother is not alive, she's dead. She had only two kids, one boy, one girl. I'm the only girl in the last girl. But we were living in the house with about 35 of us. And I never knew it was not my mother's children. I thought we were all brothers and sisters until she died. When she died, I was here and they called me. And my older sister, I always called sister, I never called her by her name. She called me, she said, you know what? You have the voice, you got to tell her what to do. I said, no. You the oldest, you tell me what to do and I will follow your first step. She said, no. She said, you mama, un belle bon. Wow. We are now. Wow. I dropped. Wow. I couldn't believe it. She said, I got to tell your interview. Wow. But still, I told her, I said, the respect is in your hand. Go ahead and bury mama. Tell us what you want us to do. And I just thank God because the way she brought us, wow. the love still continue. Mm -hmm. She made us to love. Even if it is not from her, she makes us to love her. And I thank God, that's the same life in me. I make my children, I got four. So I make them to love everyone. Amen. I lost one, she was about 28, she died. But I love her. And she, she called the rest, she with the Omar right now. Amen. Because my mom was a, a mother in the church. She was always a mother. So she was a person who loved people in the whole community. Nobody passed, we all called him mother. So I just give God glory and I praise her. I know where she at today. May God view her. I miss Amen. her so much because I love her. Everyone say I just like her. 
and I, I, I just love her and I thank God for her. Amen. Amen. All right. My dear, dear mother, uh -huh. <laughs> from the first day I was born, I was the beautifulest of them all. <laughs> Even though she didn't like me being her belly, I liked it. <laughs> she fed me, I just laid in there, having fun. And I always kicked her and punched her. But I still loved her. And she also loved me. <laughs> Good job raising your daughter because the person who she is right now is the person who she was meant to be. She's beautiful, she's wonderful, and she's awesome. Yeah. I mean, even when I get my bad grades, she'd be like, you know what, you need to work harder. I'm not gonna beat you this time. I'm gonna let you go. And I'm like, thank you, Lord. about herself than me, but it's okay. <laughs> it's alright, amen. That's the work of me. A, me as a mom. But I want to thank God so much um, for two mothers tonight. I want to thank God for my mom. You know, mommy, you have no idea how much I love you and I look up to you. And I keep praying in my heart that God will give me what I want to give you. Because what I have planned for you you know, you will, not, you, will, you will not even expect me. And I'm praying that God will make a way for me. Because I appreciate you so much. You know, my mom, she has seven of us. And she said she was like her mother. She, she said the truth because she's been there for us. My mom grew up with a family of nine. And when she got married to my dad, they were very wealthy. But at the time, something happened within the, 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 their business and it dropped. But in the midst of it, my mom was able to seek the farming to feed her kids. We were never absent for school, no one day. We never missed a book that we need, a pen, everything we needed. We always have it. They have always provided for us in the midst of everything. You know, and I thank my mom because we're not, we're not, we're not the easiest kids to have, really. You will see them lying up. My big sister, she's like the boss, and she wants to run the whole thing. You know, and... My mom has been so patient with us and so loving. And I don't know, mommy, I can't, words cannot tell how much we love you. And they want me to tell you that they love you so much. I'm hoping that next Monday they'll all be here. We can celebrate together. My sister and my brother are everywhere around the world. But we're praying to come together next year so we can celebrate my mom together by the grace of God. Mommy, we love you so much. We appreciate you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And now also my mother-in-law, praise God, of course, you know, she's in Nigeria. When she called on the phone, she's like, uh, my, my, uh, my, uh, this is what she always used. My, uh, you know, she, I mean, this woman, like she said about her mother-in-law, a lot of people can't stand their mother-in-law, but I love my mother-in-law. And she has never bothered me for one thing. She just want to love me. She always asks me, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? I mean, she's just a darling. I love her so much. And I'm praying that I can travel this year and go just give her a big hug. And hug her. I pray that God will keep her to live a longer life than ever before. Amen. That's my prayer for her. Because I want us to just sit down at the table and have a fellowship. Amen. And just like my mom, baby, you, you have a best mother-in-law. You know that. My mom, I mean, she is that kind of person that she will stay out of your business. Sometimes I feel like, mommy, are you my mom or are you his mom? Because he, she's always on his side. You know, she don't, she tell me I have to do what is right by my husband. And she's always on his side. And I mean, you have the best mother-in-law. I don't know. You, you need to tell mom that she did for, she doing for you. Mommy, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much, mommy. I'm going to have to Annie speak and then we're going to dismiss. And I want you to eat and eat and eat. Sister Annie, the mother of the church. Mother, Amen. Okay. I will live to Amen. Amen. I do thank you, God. I do thank you, praise God for being here. I praise God for His goodness. I'm not deserving any of His goodness. 
and I don't take it lightly. But I thank God. You know, I thank God for the love that I feel in this room. When I first came in, it is so pretty. Well, I had decorated. I felt I was going to a wedding. Yes, I felt like I was going to a wedding. But it's so beautiful. You know what I do? Thank you, praise God, for all you've been here. I praise God for my children. I'm a mother of six. Yes. And I thank God for all of my life, you know. And I praise God. And my niece, Berlin, she's just like a daughter to me also. And you know, I just thank and praise God for people that not talk about love so much, but they show love, you know. I thank God for that. You know, I thank God because I can say that God, I love everybody. You know? And I thank God, you know, my, my job is to encourage people. And I meet people from all walks of life, from different countries, whatever. And I try to encourage them, you know. Somebody had to encourage me one day. And I do thank and praise God. My mother, she's gone on, but it was three of us here. Uh, my brother left, I don't know where he is. But I have a sister, you know. But I thank God because I, I adopt all of y'all as my children. Praise the Lord. And I love each and every one of you. And all I ask you to do is just keep me in prayer. Amen. And I'll thank you. Thank oh, yeah. you so much. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God for all the mothers in the house. Amen. I declare in the name of Jesus, blessings upon all of you. I prophesy peace upon your home in the name of Jesus. No weapon that formed against any of you, your children, your family shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I break every shackles in Jesus' name. I declare that your children, they shall be successful. In the name of Jesus, they will not live inside prison to prison. They shall be highly successful. I decree and I declare and so shall it be in Jesus' name. And I thank God for our church. I thank God for the man of God, Pastor Lister, and all of our ministers. May God continue blessing all of you in Jesus' name. Happy Mother's Day, all of you. Amen. Amen. Say after me. Say, Jesus, say, I believe that you are my Lord and my Savior. I ask you, Lord Jesus, wash me from my head to the sole of my feet. I declare today that I am born again. I declare today that I shall follow you. I prophesy my blessings i prophesy my healings i shall go forward in the name of jesus say i believe in your birth in your death and in your resurrection i believe that you're coming back again say thank you jesus i am saved in the name of jesus power of god fall upon you from this day forward, you will not look back anymore. Every weapons of the devil, I destroy them. Every shackles, I break them. You are the head, you will never be the tail. Whatever it is that represents struggle in your life is over today. Rise up to victory. The Bible says victory swallowed death. You are free. You are blessed. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Come on, put your hand up for the Lord, everybody. We don't take this person. Now. Come on, welcome out to the house. Surrender. Hallelujah. Surrender.